from what I hear, they call you Arnold 2.0. Is that true? That's the tag that got um, that was get thrown around a lot at the start. Yes. Why, why do they call you that? And also, do you do you like it? Do you not like it? How do you react to it? Honestly, yeah, it doesn't bo really bother me. But because I know I know a lot of the like kids and family, they like saying this, you know, they like calling me out. Oh, oh, but but basically, it started when um, a uh, a friend of mine made a a, a, my, a video, just a YouTube video. Before I was anything, I was just a little drop in the ocean. No one had heard my name. No one knew of me. I just was Cal that goes to the gym. You know, nothing, uh, nothing special. I love. I've been training for a long time, and he decided he just when he wanted to catch up and just get uh, some footage of me training, and then he was going to use it for something. But then um, when he met me, he uh, was very interested in. We we did the film, and he he had a lot of these really cool ideas, and he wanted to. His, I think he just liked me, and uh, he liked my style and my approach to bodybuilding was, and how I how I act and all that sort of stuff. So he decided to make a video and it went uh, viral. And it went very viral and um, it got a lot to, and it uh, basically just sort of showcased me in six minutes um, of, of who I am. And people love it till this day still. They look at for pre-workout motivation and stuff. And um, they, they, they look, they, I had longer hair and I, so I look in some of these pictures, he looks very similar to Arnold. And I even said this in the, in the video, as much as I look up to these guys, Arnold, and I think every young boy or girl, you know, anyone who's starting the gym always uh, got some inspiration from Arnold. Like, you know, I'm, I'm millions, I'm sure. And, um, but as much as I you know, like get that inspiration, I ultimately I always want to be myself. You know, it's, it can be cool being called Arnold, but I don't want to be remembered or known as uh, that forever, you know? It's like, yeah, they can... It's a bit of a lot, but uh, I'm I'm still Callum Von. My job is to be Callum, and his job is to be Arnold. I can't be anyone else. He can't be, anyone, you know. So I've been following you, and you have a, a girlfriend. Yes. And you know, you're definitely a, a power couple in the industry. It seems like. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we're good. We're a good but team. We're a great team. Yeah. Were you always okay with kind of showing showing that you guys are together? Because obviously, you know, you you are you're upper coming guy, and a lot of girls probably want to be around you. And a lot of times, when people have a girlfriend, they kind of you know they put put her to the side, and then they they promote themselves as being you know a single guy. You know, did you did you always have a did you have a problem with that, or did you, were you always open to it? When I got recognized, I was kind of invite, I kind of made a, an appearance mm -hmm. in the fitness industry, and I had some people rec said, you know, you shouldn't um, have a girlfriend, or you shouldn't uh, tell people you have a, it can right. restrict you, it can limit you, and all this sort of stuff. And I'm young and impressionable. I kind of you know I kind of listened, but then I think oh. They're going to ruin my relationship and all this sort of stuff. You have to kind of, I believe, uh, fuck what uh, if people say that that you're going to reduce your opportunities or limit the stuff, then those opportunities aren't for you then. Then you should be single, you know? There's a million, There's so many other things out there. And I always thought, you know, it is limited. You know, I thought I have to, but mm -hmm. no, it's not the case. How would you describe your position in the world of fitness? I, did, I chose bodybuilding because I love it. I, uh, I get passion, I, I do it. And um, I happen to be, uh, I did some, I've done a, uh, enough competitions and um, my, my goal always was to, uh, to win the universe titles. First the junior came out and I won that and then I won the opens and gained my pro card and then the, the last goal of competing was to get my pro Mr. Universe because I just introduced mm -hmm. that division and it's the, the best of the best in all the weight categories mm -hmm. and I wanted to, to take the, the top title there. What would it take for you to join IBB and start competing? Because I know, obviously, you can do it. You have great genetics and you have great physique, and I'm sure if you dedicate, you can do it. W would it be any anything that would that would make you uh, actually join the IBB and try to compete? I uh, I did have a meeting with Jim Mannion um, about two weeks ago on Valentine's Day, actually, <laughs> a romantic meeting with Jim Mannion at the Firehouse. I believe it was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Anyway, um, I happened to see him, uh, and we had a meeting. And um, based off of that, I, I was curious to know a little bit about the new division, the classic physique division and um, Alex and Store and, and all this sort of thing. But um, I never, as far as I started bodybuilding, I never had an interest to compete with the IFBB. And mm -hmm. the, the, the reason is, um, I mean, there is, there is a few reasons, but basically I started with this federation, the, the, the NAVA and the WFF, um, that was the first federations that I competed with. The president, he, he saw me and the, the story is, basically I, went, I met him at his gym, I was a junior, and he said, uh, oh, you know, you see the potential, take your shirt, let's have a look. I was only 19 at the time, he said, if you win my, my local show here, 
if you win an inter international show, then I fly you to um to Austria to compete in the in the universe show. And for mm -hmm. me, you know, I could never afford a plane ticket. I could hardly afford to own a car. So this is a huge opportunity for me to travel and compete. And it was so he he created this opportunity for me to to to, to travel and. And he looked after me, and, and ever since, you know, he, um, he, he always invited me to compete, and, and, and always he, he, he flew me, I think, twice, two or three times to, to compete. Mm -hmm. uh, and that sort of support, it, it, it goes a long way for me. And I always just uh, had a, my best interest to, to support that federation because of its support for me. What I really find great about you is the fact that you seem to be promoting a very healthy uh, lifestyle meaning that you know there's a lot of people out there they do what you do but they talk about steroids they send the wrong message sometimes to the, to the young generation to the kids you know what i mean exactly and this is and this is my uh this is my view on, on, on the steroids basically um I, I i never claim natural i never and i never i never denied that because i just don't ever talk about it publicly right um, I, I just, uh, it's because it's something that I don't want to promote. Because when I was young, when I started, I can, you know, I trained natural, I was natural. I didn't take anything um, all the way up. I won the junior Mr. Universe. And I, I didn't take anything. And it wasn't until after this first show, um, this first international show that, uh, you know, and, and I had some older mentors who, uh, who were competing and they much older, the 40, you know, 20 years older than me. And they said, you know, Cal, did you like compete? How do you find it? You know, do you want to compete again? I said, yeah, yeah of course, I loved it. And they said, well, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to do that, you're not going to be a junior anymore, and you're going to be in the open division, and you're going to get smoked every time. They just gave me a heads up of the reality. They said it's not an even playing field. They said because you don't take anything, you know, you're in an mm -hmm. untested competition, and uh, you know, that's going to be uh, if if you want to consider doing well, then you're going to have to consider um, taking uh, you know steroids. So let me sorry, let me quickly find this um, this email uh, mm -hmm. that I sent, and, and, and um, I, I'm going to re and because a, 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 a fan, a kid asked me all these questions, and I never really uh, uh, engage in this sort of stuff. I just don't um, want to uh, you know promote it. But he said, uh, "May I ask what did you take? Because I would like to take it too. I just don't know what to run." I don't know anything about this boy. All right. He asked me a few questions and stuff. I thought, uh, I don't want him to do something stupid. So I thought, I'm just going to give this. And I said, normally I wouldn't tell anyone what I do or use because I don't want to promote the use of drugs or influence anyone to consider them. Unlike your rich piano and your Boston Lloyd. All right. It's purely 100% an individual choice. And the only reason I take them is for competition prep and to give me the help I need to be on to be the same playing field as uh, other competitors. So it's for... For the first, for, the, for a long time, I trained uh, and, com and competed naturally. But since you gave, yeah, but since you ask, um, I'm going to help and share this much with you. Most importantly, if you decide to use drugs, uh, I would want you to get advice from smart people like I have, not your abusers and, and substance abusers and people that don't actually care for your health, etc. You know, seek professional advice. Uh, and I said a little bit about it, took, and then um, I said, if you gonna can start, if but if you're gonna start or consider taking drugs, first think of what purpose are you doing this? If it's purely to get big or look better, say then I said don't do that. But if you if both it is to become a competitive bodybuilder um, and compete, you know and you really then I say that's a valid reason. Either way, the choice is yours, and I would say at least have five years gym experience, if not more, before considering taking anything. Just lift weights, enjoy. What gains you can make naturally, and see where your natural can take, potential can take you first. So that's my feel on the gear. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what you're going to use this information, but I, like I said, uh, um, I, might, I have I have some intentions of my of my own that are kind of coming up just recent uh, because I want to make mm, kind of be the first person maybe to make a natural transformation. You know, so I'm, I, 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 obviously people can look at me and say, oh, yeah, steroids, steroids, whatever. But uh, I want to, um, yeah, basically, because I'm not thinking of competing this year and I might not compete next year or something like this. So I really want to come off and just see what I can do. And, and naturally, I'm, I'm 250 pounds now. 
Personally, I, I, I look, I, I believe and I feel like I feel and look great at 235 pounds. And I believe I can do, be this way naturally. I really appreciate your honesty, man. It takes, you know, it definitely, because a lot of people, they, they either deceive or they say something else. I appreciate it. Yeah, it makes me mad that there's so many athletes, so many of these, like, I can name drop it. You know, I'm sure you've seen the heard it all anyway, but, um, you know, the, and they claim natural and they do all this stuff and, um, and 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 they and they promote the supplements so heavily, and they say that that's all it is, and I, it just makes me mad because it's not true. You know, I, I just see so much bullshit in the industry, and it just uh, it's um, and I just don't want to be. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the bullshit side of stuff, and that's why I, you know, I that's probably the way I am, and um, and I want people to to want I want to be able to be much educate people. And help them do the right thing, and um, and just be, bring awareness and and both sides. Say, look, it's not bad. Yeah, of course, it's a. I think it's illegal everywhere, but um, and that's what gives it a, a bad. It can give bodybuilding a kind of a bad name, whatever in some in some stances. But yeah, I just want to bring a, some light on the subject, and I don't know. <laughs> Tune into Generation Iron Podcast with Kai Green every Wednesday. We're in there and we see these hot babes and we're, you know, we're trying to kick it to them. And I notice this crew of guys come over. Now this is, this is 1994. And a lot of the guys had on tank tops with skull caps. They were like beanies, you know, like, you know, skull caps, wool caps. 